my name is Kerry Kautzer, and uh, welcome to my exhibit here at the Glass. Uh, keep it simple. And uh, what I'm going to do uh, today during the reception is a, a painting demonstration. And this is a, a winter scene uh, with the same farm, and, uh, and I'm going to paint in watercolors today. Uh, many of my paintings on display are, are watercolors and uh, some oils. And if you have any questions, uh, you're welcome to ask at any time. All right? So what I do, uh, as far as any kind of painting I do, uh, on location or uh, during a, a scene where I'm working out in my studio, I'll do a, a small thumbnail sketch like this. And I, I blew that up for you to look at. Uh, you can pass that around. Or you can probably see that fine. I'll take it first. How do you paint the painting? How do I paint the painting? Many years of skill. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Uh, recently, when I go on a trip and I can't carry all my gear, I, I, I purchase these inexpensive little paint pads and I'll do a uh, some little pen and ink s sketches and I'll write some notes with the, whatever I, I feel like writing or including in the, in the place where I'm at. And, and that's... Pardon? Do, do I take along? Right now? Uh, not enough. No, this, this type I have a few, but I have more uh, expensive ones that are just sketches. I don't do, do uh, watercolors in them. These small ones? Yeah. You, can, you can take a look at these. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun to just backpack everything along. Uh, and when you're out on, on location, you like to uh, pack as light as you can. Uh, taking gear like this might be a little too much. Uh, but I do take... Uh, sometimes more than I need, such as this. I take along on island trips where we go kayaking. Um, depends on where you're going to go. No, I, just, I paint it right. I have a little, a small yeah. kit. Oh, I, may yeah. take, I may take this palette along. Can everyone hear me well enough? Uh, I use a, a number of different brushes, everything from a three inch brush down to a, a small rigger for doing branches and signatures. The larger the brush, the, the, the looser and, and, and faster you can uh, create your painting. Uh, my paintings are very loose. Uh, I, I try to capture the essence of the scene instead of trying to do a lot of detail. Uh, the paints I use come in tubes. And there are some artists here that know what I'm talking about where uh, paints and supplies are quite expensive. That's why many people don't realize that Paintings are as ex expensive as they are. Uh, a tube like this may cost uh, 15 to 20 dollars. I should? <laughs> that would be nice. I'll, I'll think about that. Now, what I've done today is with this uh, winter scene of the farm, I've, I've already sketched it in. And I, I had some other lines on here, uh, but I want to keep most of the, the foreground white for the snow. All right. I'm going to get started. If you have any questions or if I get in the way, let me know. Uh, 
Um, many times I'll, I'll just wet the paper with the brush. And uh, now this is a 140 rough paper. I I soak the paper in the bathtub for 10, 15 minutes, and the paper absorbs all the water and it kind of expands a little bit with the fibers. And then I staple the board, the, the paper to the board, and let it dry overnight or uh, in a few hours. And it becomes very tight to the paper, and that's what I want. Uh, otherwise, uh, you can use tape. Uh, but if you do not do that, you, you risk the chance of adding water and the paper buckles. All right. Ooh. much. And I'm using a, a mixture of cerulean blue with uh, some cobalt uh, violet for the sky. And I'll put that on pretty quickly. watercolor uh, paintings you want to leave white very important Next, I'm going to put some of the the, the trees in the in the painting, um, trying to keep it soft and, and give it that distant look. I'm going to use some um, cobalt blue. Oops. Thank you. 
And with watercolor versus oil painting, you want to work uh, light to dark. Now I just keep adding some darks. A little more uh, burnt sienna. Any questions? No? We're good? Just a comment. I like the way you're working back and forth. It's just working straight past and then it's to the other end. It helps balance it better. Well, I'm trying to keep the paints uh, wet. I'm just move, jumping around and that might be the way my brain's working. It bounces around a lot. And I just keep adding a few more darks. Oops. Uh, this might be more of a gray day kind of painting. And for the darkest dark, I have uh, indigo. It's very dark. And the purer the color, the, the richer the, the paint's going to be. Less water. Actually, I'm not used to painting from the side. I can't, it's a little difficult to see what I'm doing, but uh, many of these paintings on display are, are painted on location, uh, plein air. Uh, I, I prefer doing that. Uh, you get first-hand information. But in the winter months, uh, painting watercolors, after freezing temperatures, we're done. <laughs> I'm adding a, a little bit of, of uh, yellow ochre. Grab this towel here. Thought I was reaching for the cookies, didn't you? <laughs> All right. Now I have a, a pretty good start on what I need to uh, map out. I keep the the farm scene. Uh, I'm waiting for the paper to dry a little bit around the roof line in the silo.
because if you don't with watercolors, it'll, it'll back run, it'll, uh, it'll do things you don't want it to do. Uh, but it is drying relatively fast. Now, in, in painting outside, paintings, uh, watercolor, they dry really quickly uh, in warm days and windy days. So it's, uh, it's another reason I work fast. But by all means, you don't have to paint like I do. I go a little crazy. All right. Any questions before I proceed? Doing a good job. That's what I like to hear. Now it's easy to forget where you want to keep the whites. So sometimes, uh, what I was taught uh, from James Michael, fearless leader, put maybe a W or something where you want to keep the whites, and you can erase that with your uh, pencil uh, eraser. this one red. Sienna. Sometimes I need to step back.
It's nice to have this big one here, uh, kind of for a reference. <laughs> No, I wanted to change it. And all we're doing on time. It's 30 minutes now. Oops. something here. Yeah, well. And you can soften the edges by adding a lit, just a touch of water.
no, I'm just probably overworking it and adding a few more darks. Some final touches with some ugly big trees. That's about it. Put a mat on it. Ta da!